Now, so far we've looked at the ways in which plants are adapted to live in the rainforest, ways in which they're adapted to live under the different climate and characteristics of the rainforest. Okay. Now, today we're going to have a look at how animals are adapted to live in the rainforest. So I'm going to tell you about seven of the main adaptations that animals might have in the rainforest so that if you got asked about animal adaptations, you'd be able to answer an exam question on this. Number one. Lots of animals in the rainforest actually live up in the canopy and they spend most of their lives there. So in order to do this, they need quite strong limbs, so quite strong arms and legs, and they need to be able to grab hold of these different branches and swing from them. So this is an adaptation that allows them to live here. And one example here is the howler monkey, but obviously we could include lots of other types of monkey in the rainforest. Now number two. So rather than having strong arms and legs, another thing you can do to get from branch to branch is first you could have flaps of skin that actually let you glide through the air between trees, and that's what um, flying squirrels have. Or secondly, some animals actually have like sort of suction cups that allow them to grip hold of branches, and that includes certain species of frog, such as the red-eyed tree frog. Three. And lots of birds in the rainforest have quite short, pointy wings, so they can easily get between the branches in this dense kind of canopy of the rainforest. And an example of this is the harpy eagle. And perhaps one of those obvious kind of adaptations that animals have in the rainforest is for camouflage. So, so that they can hide from predators or even hide from their prey before they try and catch them. And one example of this is a leaf-tailed gecko, which as you can see, looks quite a lot like the leaves that it actually climbs across. But similarly, it could also account for pretty much all the animals in the rainforest. They all have camouflage. Number five. Now obviously you can get up to temperatures of around 27 degrees in the rainforest. So to um, kind of manoeuvre during that time would be really hot and take lots of energy. So lots of animals, such as sloths, are actually nocturnal, which means that they're active at night. So if they can come out during the night when it's cooler, they help to kind of save energy. They use less energy than they would if they came out during the day. Number six. And just like many plants have to be adapted to the low light levels on the forest floor, many animals do too. And a good example of this is an anteater, which has sharp senses of smell and hearing so they can detect predators without even seeing them. Finally, and obviously the rainforest is a really wet climate, so there's lots of rivers and streams. Therefore, an adaptation that will help an animal to survive is if it can swim. And a good example of this is the jaguar. So it can actually swim across river channels to get where it needs to go. You should be able to explain how animals are adapted to the tropical rainforest biome. And that's all for now.